forward, going forward, going forward. I would actually like to know, this is courtesy of RA, where they're featuring this um, new Pioneer 2 channel controller. And it's interesting because I think I was talking to somebody else about it the other day and they were kind of bemoaning, you know, the fact that some places or some clubs are still hiring the same cis, straight, you know, white male DJ and it's so hard for everyone else to make it and all this stuff and needs to be more representation and blah, 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 which are all valid points. But for the most part, it doesn't matter if you're a white male or you're a black girl or you're an Asian guy, making it as a DJ is just incredibly difficult and there is no kind of straight path to bedroom to stardom it doesn't exist and if someone told you exists they're absolutely lying everyone's got a different path everyone's got a different route everyone's got a different process a different journey it just is what it is and sometimes it doesn't work out you can do as much as you want you can look as hot as you want you can dance as much as you like have some funky hairstyle and maybe it just doesn't work out and you're just going to be relegated to doing pirate live streams like i do right so it's not always like that but I would be interested to know, especially now with the advent of these controllers being so prevalent in the scene, there's so many options now, the quality is improved, you've got brands like Pioneer investing big bucks in these sort of like bedroom-esque kind of house party get-ups, setups, sorry, where you can essentially plug and play and get mixing straight away. I wonder if there's ever going to be a story put together by these brands where they're able to actually trace when somebody purchased this and then went from playing on one of these little kind of two channel basic controller things and then going suddenly to stardom becoming somebody that's headlining a festival playing at all the big clubs touring working with pop artists or working whatever genre they didn't want to working i wonder if that's actually a thing i know for some djs they're sometimes ashamed and they're not proud to say they even started using midi players sometimes they'll go to a set it's something you see people going to a party or playing at a rave and being embarrassed to pull out the midi player because you know it maybe looks like an average or beginner type product but if it's something you're comfortable on there's a tool that you can use and why not who gives a crap but i wonder if they're i wonder if there isn't dj could be honest enough to say no i started playing on this first and then I progressed into CDJs later on when I had more money or when I could maybe afford to rent them or to use them in the studio. But this is where I started. And then two years, one year, four years, six years down the line, here I am suddenly, you know, recording a BBC One Extra mix or, um, you know, headlining flipping Burning Man or something. I wonder if that will happen because I think that would be a pretty sick way to sell a lot of controllers. Because, you know, if there's one thing that DJs are obsessed with, it's flipping gear. There's always somebody asking about headphones you're using, cables and all this sort of stuff because everyone feels like they just need one more cheat code in order to kind of break through and get the thing that they want to get in terms of getting more bookings, which never really affects anything for the most part, right? Maybe concentrating on playing and actually having a good ear for music and sequencing your mixes probably might help, but gear really doesn't help. But I really think if they were able, Pioneer, to some how trace the journey of somebody going from playing on one of these shitty two channel controllers all the way until headlining a big festival they would sell hundreds and sometimes hundreds of thousands and maybe millions of controllers when they could say hey this guy here that you know and love this guy that was just a boy in the room smashing shit up again like imagine if fred again said yeah i started off playing and djing and making my tunes using the flipping cue pads on this flipping controller and do my mixes on these flipping jog wheels and shit plug into my laptop like that would be incredible they'd sell units like you can maybe make a branded fred again one or something i think i look pretty is sick going forward but i don't think djs would be honest enough to say i started this anyway so they kind of just have to sell these to bedroom djs or people just having fun at home mixing and falling around which there probably might be a lot of people doing that because clubs are flipping empty nowadays so there's probably loads of people at home with headphones in just jamming you know um playing songs that they like fucking around with mixes and stuff and testing out ideas or copying a mix or a transition they might have heard from a dj you know play somewhere else i think that probably happens a lot more than we probably realize or than i probably realize anyway to begin with but yeah big up pioneer on another new pioneer two channel mixer this one's called the ddj flx v4 no xl flx4 sorry so yeah check it out if you want check it out if you want